today's video, I'm going to be doing TTC acronyms. So as we are on this journey of trying to conceive, there are a lot of different abbreviations for, you know, some words that are commonly used, such as TTC, aka trying to conceive. So I decided to do a breakdown so that you guys can know exactly what it means. And if you guys are ever in a group and women are saying this or that, and you're like, wait, what? So, if you guys are excited to learn these TTC acronyms, make sure that you guys give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me on my social media, which I'll leave down below, and let's get started. So, there are acronyms for both, both trying to conceive and pregnancy related. So, I'm going to try to do both if I can. Um, well, there's TTC, pregnancy, and parenting acronyms. So, the first one is... Two, the number two, WW, which stands for the two-week wait. So we know, if you don't know, the two-week wait is basically the time between once your fertile window has closed before and before you could take your pregnancy test. So that's generally 14 days, um, yeah, after you ovulate. The next acronym is AF, which stands for Auntie Flow, which is our menstrual cycle. BBT is basal body temperature, which um, a lot of women do during trying to conceive. Um, when your temperature increases, that means that you're more fertile. BB, which stands for baby dance, which um, is when you have sex. BFN stands for big fat negative, which is very, very ugh, discouraging. But what we all want is that big uh, that big the BSP, which is the big fat positive. Yes, girl, that's what you want. The next is CD, which stands for cycle days. Um, we all have different cycles. I know the um, the normal cycle day is 28 to 35 or 32. Um, if you do hear my son in the background, sorry, he is here. He is watching TV. Um, so yeah, for me, my cycle day is about 35 days. So. The next one is CM, which stands for cervical mucus. Uh, DPO is days past ovulation. Um, DTD, which I've never really used, but doing the dance or doing the deed, I assume it, I, it has to do with sex as well. Um, EW is the egg white, so that's a type of cervical mucus. Um, HCG is the pregnancy hormone, so when you do get pregnant, um, when you're using the test, it's checking for your HCG hormone. Also, um, when you use the, do the blood test, that's what you're testing for. HPT stands for home pregnancy test. Um, IF stands for infertility. IUI is intrauteral insemination. IVF is in virtual fertilization. The LH is the hormone, it's the luteinizing, I think I may be saying that wrong, but sorry. It's the LH hormone, and basically when you use your um, OPK kits, aka ovulation prediction kits, that's what it's testing for, that hormone. LMP is last menstrual period. The LP is the luteal phase. MC is miscarriage, O, ovulation, and OPK, like I said, is the ovulation prediction kit. PCOS is um, the poly ovarian syndrome. And then as we all know, TTC stands for trying to conceive. So those are the acronyms for trying to conceive. Next, I'm going to go over the acronyms for pregnancy and um, parenting. So B, CP stands for birth control pills, BF, breastfeeding, BM, breast milk. Um, the CIO is crying it out, which is a method that um, parents tend to use. It's basically, um, I know like in a lot of old traditions, they say like if you continue to pick up your kid, like your child a lot, if you pick them up, you're going to spoil them. So a lot of people do the cry it out method. Um, I personally am not for the cry it out method, but that's a whole other video. Um, EBM is express uh, breast milk and um, these acronyms the next three are like when you're writing like say for instance you're doing a post or something so DD is dear daughter DH my dear husband uh, DS dear son 
and then FF is formula fed, LO is your little one, PG stands for pregnant, SAHD stay at home dad, SAHM stay at home mom, SO stands for significant other, US stands for the ultrasound, a VBAC, um, VBAC stands for a vaginal birth after C-section. A WAHD is a work at home dad. A WAHM, work at home mom. And then the last two are WOHD or WOHM, which is a work out of the home mom or work out of the house mom or dad. So I hope that these acronym breakdowns have helped you. Um, for me, it was very helpful. Again, like when I'm in like the mommy groups or when I'm talking to certain people, you know, you don't want to spell out like the long word. It's just easy to have an acronym. Um, and it makes you feel a part, you know, of a community, a sense of um, togetherness. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, make sure that you guys give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure that you guys leave me some comments down below and let me know what you guys are looking forward to seeing on my channel. Um, I enjoy uploading. I upload on Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, so I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Peace.